गुड मॉर्निंग एवरी वन माई नेम श्री राम फ्रॉम द कमोडिटी एंड करेंसी रिसर्च टेस्ट कैट रिलायंस सिक्योरिटीज दिस इज द कमोडिटी बॉन्ड्स एंड करेंसी आउटलुक फॉर ट्वेंटी नाइन्थ ऑगस्ट ट्वेंटी ट्वेंटी टू सो स्टार्टिंग विद द कमोडिटी साइड ऑफ थिंग्स स्टार्टिंग विद एनर्जी इंटरनेशनल ऑयल प्राइस रोज ऑन फ्राइडे अलॉन्ग विद द डोमेस्टिक वन बूस्टेड बाई सिग्नल्स फ्रॉम सऊदी सऊदी अरेबिया दैट ओपेक कुट कट आउटपुट फर्दर इन्वेस्टर्स ऑल्सो डाइजेस्टेड and ultimately shrugged off uh, warnings from fed chair uh, powell about economic pain and further uh, uh, higher interest rates uh, going forward in the coming few months uh, nymex uh, gas prices ended flat uh, but uh, were uh, uh, higher for the session most of the session while domestic too ended higher supported by firm demand looking ahead prices uh, internationally and domestically have started with the gains this monday morning lifted by uh, expectations that opec will cut output going further and uh, possibly we'll see more gains over the next couple of sessions uh, uh, but the main trigger will be inventories over the next couple of sessions which will be the uh, and uh, uh, any surprise there will uh, move the markets uh, in the downside uh, momentum going forward but overall uh, crude oil still remains uh, or can still trade with a positive bias over the next few sessions and uh, uh the range for the domestic crude oil prices will be anywhere between 7300 on the lower side to 70 a 700 on the upside of things over the next couple of sessions while nymex gas also has started positive uh, supported by firm demand uh, we see more uh, uptick for the gas prices also this uh, next couple of sessions and the range for the domestic natural gas will be anywhere between 730 to 780 in this next couple of sessions moving to the bullion side of things uh, international and domestic gold and silver prices crashed on friday after fed chair uh, powell said another uh, unusually large increase uh, could be appropriate at the next meeting in september 2021 but he also reiterated that the rate hikes further rate hikes can depend on the data incoming data and evolving outlooks uh, uh, evolving us outlook going forward but he continued to reiterated that inflation still remains elevated and that will be the key uh, focus for the us federal reserve going forward in the next few months and how to bring it down so we expect that the us fed will continue to remain uh, aggressive in their policy meeting next uh, uh, in the in the september meeting we see that that will continue to weaken gold and silver prices further the us dollar also has remained on the elevated side over the last few sessions and we see that dollar will continue its upward momentum and that could also trigger a, a, a sell off in the markets globally and in, uh, domestically so uh, prices have started on a weaker front and will remain weak uh, prices have moved back below that 51000 level this uh, monday morning on the domestic side and uh, possibly can now move towards 50400 50500 over the next couple of sessions on the upside we feel 51500 will be the key hurdle for the markets going forward moving to the base metals base metals remained mixed on uh, friday copper ended flat but aluminum ended higher but copper uh, war was of session highs after uh, 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 an aggressive policy uh, uh, hikes expectation by the federal reserve uh, uh, fed chair uh, remained extremely hawkish on uh, friday and this weighed on sentiments of course the dollar also moved higher which also moved the market slower so we see more weakness for the base metals as well going forward in the next couple of sessions and the range for comex uh, domestic copper will be anywhere between 670 665 on the lower side to 685 on the upside of things finally on the currency side of things uh, indian rupee ended flat on friday and remained extremely range bound ahead of that fed event rupee ended at 78 uh, 7986 versus 7988 in the previous session briefly the rupee weakened to 7994 but uh, Uh, possible talks of rbi's intervention capped further weakness uh, uh, the dollar also gained on friday amid hawkish fed uh, on friday and looking ahead we see the rupee can uh, of course it has opened weaker uh, gap down in fact and uh, above below the 80 level mark again uh, it has uh, tested new lows uh, it's opened at 80.12 and can can test further new lows again um, hawkish powell and strong dollar uh, strong oil prices will continue to weigh on the rupee going forward in the next few sessions uh, of course the main trigger for the currency will be the indian gdp this week um, along with uh, non farm payroll number and and other important key data going forward and that will be the key trigger for the markets but overall we see more weakness for the our currency 
and uh, range for the rupee for today's session will be anywhere between 7970 to 80.20 uh, rbs intervention cannot be ruled out uh, amid uh, high volatility to and uh, uh, their presence is can be expected during the day but overall more weakness is possible for the currency on the bond side briefly bonds indian bonds remain on the weaker side after uh, uh, report, news reports of its inclusion into uh, global indexes and uh, we see further fall in the uh, domestic bonds as well but internationally we see uh, the US Treasury yields continue to move higher amid hawkish Fed and this will possibly limit any downside for our Indian yields as well. So that's it from our side. Thank you for listening. Have a pleasant day. Thank you.